same to on the other side of the ball. How pleased or displeased was your head coach with the defensive work in that first half? Uh, very displeased. Um, you know, kind of across the board. That was that was definitely the main message at halftime. Uh, was you know, don't worry about offense. Offense will take care of itself. But we're gonna win this game on the defensive end. Um, you know, it starts with the guy in the ball, and then it, it trickles down. You know, we we don't play individual defense. We play defense. Uh, you know, as a unit, as five guys together connected. Um, so there's a lot of holes there in the first half that we had to clean up um, there in the second half. But you got to give, you know, their, their two guards were very fast, very quick. Um, you know, did a good job of getting to their spots. We tried to force tough ones. Um, but again, a lot of things that we will see and that we can improve on. Uh, for any of you guys, you had 18 three pointers tonight. It's a school record. First, I guess, what do you think about that? And then also, were you aware at the end that you, you were closing in on it at all? No, but it, it should have been 19. I mean, I said sorry to Brett after that screen. It could have been 20 if Meech would have moved his foot back a little uh, bit. Four uh, wings rattled, rattled in the mouth. It happens. It happens. Jeff, uh, Dimitri, you guys, I think built double digit leads a couple times against them. They came back, cut it, I think, five twice. Uh, what allowed them? to get back and what did you guys have to do then to finally get that last push to get some separation? Um, I think that we got to do a better job um, on our on ball defense. Um, they were able to get into the lane, draw fouls, um, find a couple shooters at the top of the key. Um, and credit to their guards, their guards did a really good job of getting downhill and creating for other guys and then finishing around the rim. But um, we got kind of lazy on defense a couple times and I think that's when they started to come back and then uh, we called a couple timeouts and we got our guys together and we decided to step on their throat a little bit more on the defensive end and play more suffocating defense and I think that was the biggest change in our defense. Brad, going back to the three pointers, do you think this was case kind of just um, being contagious where one or two guys start making them and it kind of spreads? Definitely. Yeah, I think it's just when you see the ball going, whether it's individual or as a team, you know, it just breeds confidence. Um, and like what Meech said, we had spent a lot of time, you know, on time, on target passes. Um, whoever got the ball in the post, we wanted to play inside out. Um, Nate, Micah, Kobe, Revan, everyone who was in there did a really good job of, you know, when the double team came, spraying it out, and then we were looking one more passes and over, trying to pass up good shots for great shots. Um, when you do that, coach, coach says they usually go in more. Yeah. You guys have had, or for Demetrius and Brad, you guys have had some games like this at home with all the balance scoring. It, is that when you like this team at its best? You think it's the most difficult for whoever you're playing to, to get the better you guys? Yeah, definitely. I think that we have a lot of guys that can score in the double digits, and when we have multiple guys doing that, um, it, it's just hard to guard, really, because not one person is going off, but they have to just shut down one person. But. Um, we talked about the contagious shooting, and when one guy knocks it down, then it kind of just trickles down to the next guy, and then the next guy's feeding off that confidence. So I think that just us having a balanced scoring and balanced offensive game, I think that's our biggest uh, asset. And so that's just the biggest thing for our offense is continuing to have multiple guys in double figures. Yeah. For Brandon, you guys want to address this? We'll probably talk to you before the, the trip to Purdue. But uh, what's it going to be like now, hitting the road for a couple of games where teams don't win that easily? I know you're only supposed to look at one game at a time. You got two in a row. I mean, Purdue. Purdue is a tough place to play. Uh, they get a rocking in there. I remember <coughs> we played there two years ago and we just got smacked. So we got to be ready. I think we will be. Um, you know, I think what comes with kind of the big challenges is really great opportunities for us too. Um, you know, we've shown and we've proven that we can win on the road in this league. You know, two pretty hostile environments against two really good teams. Um, you know, that's that's what we see. You know, some people from the outside might see challenges. We see a lot of big opportunities. Um, you know, that's that's why we came here. That's why we want to be in this league uh, to play against the best on their turf. Zach, Brad, when Micah got taken out, seemed pretty upset. Came over. And Sat next to, sat uh, down next to you. You put your arm around him. What were you, what were you saying to him? I was just telling him to calm down, to relax a little bit. There's a lot more game left. Um, you know, he was just being pretty hard on himself for something that happened in the game. Um, you know, just tried to speak confidence into him, keep him positive. Um, you know, he has a lot of really good things for us, and he's a big weapon for us. <clears throat> um, and so, yeah, just you know, being a teammate, but also being a friend. Oh, time for 
hold one more for the players. What's it say about the big times for Brad Lemaitre that you have to go from guard to guys like Anthony Cowan and Cassius Winston to guard the, the guard tandem that Nebraska has? Um, honestly, it's tough. Um, it just shows how good the league is. Um, there's no off nights, no matter who you're playing, from the top to the bottom. And uh, every game's a testimony to that. I think that just going, you're taking it one game at a time. You get new challenges and new opportunities, like Brad said earlier, and just taking those challenges and making the best of them.